The problem with not liking yourself is that you can never get away from yourself. If you're going on vacation, you go with yourself. If you're going on to work, you go with yourself. If you're going to a business meeting, you go with yourself. If you're going to anywhere in the world, you go with yourself. So basically, you can never get away from yourself. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the importance of being at peace with yourself. If you're interested in seeing that, please keep on watching. If you go through life regretting, uh, thinking about the things that have not worked out, thinking about all the errors that you've made, what you are not truly happy about about yourself, like the mistakes you've made in the past, like the things you're still finding hard to let go, blaming yourself that the relationship didn't work out because of you, how you wasted all the money you made in the past, the things you think you're guilty of. Instead of focusing on those things, why don't you focus on the things you've done right? I read a book this week, it added value to my life. Oh yes, I was kind to that lady last week at the train station. Oh, someone lost their wallet, I gave them money. Or I'm, I'm doing my best to get my career together or my education together. Why don't you just focus on things like that? Focus on the good things you've done. Focus on them and look at them like, I did this. If I can do this, I can do more. Recognize that, oh yes, you are not perfect. I'm not perfect either. But I don't bank or focus on the things I don't know how to do or the things that I've done wrong. I focus on the things that I've done well. They propel me to do more. They propel me to be better. They propel me to do better. Focus on the things that are good in your life. Accept yourself for who you are. Accept your, the things you cannot change. It makes a lot of difference about how you see yourself and the outcome of who you would be when you focus on good things. Always recognize that it is okay to be where you are now while you work on the progress you want to make in your life. It is okay to embrace where you are now. Oh yeah, they're not so good. You're not saying they're not there. The, the things you think you've done wrong, you're not saying they're not there. But you don't want to focus on them. You don't want to focus on your limitations. Focus on the things that you can do that can make you better. The things you've done well, they will propel you to do more. Focus on those things. They are good. They are better. They will help you get where you want to be. Okay? Focus on those ones. <laughs> Say good things to yourself. Erase those bad memories in your head. It is hard. Ask for grace to be able to do that. Instead, begin to say positive things to yourself. I am unique. I am confident. I love myself. Things are working out for my good. Begin to psych yourself. Begin to say go those good things to yourself. I am blessed and highly favored. God is changing me. He's changing my testimonies. He's changing my story. Begin to say good things to yourself. You psych yourself when you say good things to yourself. The things you say mold your life. The seeds you sow in your life mold your life. Say those things. Believe them and they'll come to pass. The things you want to say in the physical, begin to say them with your own mouth. They will come true. They will come to pass. Stop saying, oh yes, I, I can never make money. Stop saying things like that. Stop saying, I can never love anybody or nobody can love me. Stop saying, my employers hate me. Stop saying, my colleagues don't like me. Stop saying, oh yes, I'm going to screw up again. Don't say things like that. Begin to say things like, oh yes, I'm not qualified for that job, but I can do it. Psych yourself up. Say it. My marriage is working. I save money. I don't spend recklessly when I make money. Say those things and be at peace with yourself. Okay? Believe them when you say them. It makes a lot of difference in how you feel about yourself. Okay? Also recognize that you don't have to be perfect to do great things. You know you have weaknesses, but embrace your strength and bank on them. Use those ones to do great things. It changes your life. It changes, it changes your perception about yourself and it molds you. It propels you forward to do great things. 
most importantly recognize that God said before he even made you, before he formed you in your mother's womb, he approved you. He knew what you were going to be and he approves you. Embrace that and let that be ringing in your head. God knows who I am. I accept myself. I've been uniquely made by God. I've been made in God's image. If you've been made in God's image, you'll be at peace with yourself. You recognize that just like God, you're a creator. You can do great things. Let go of the past. All the errors, all the faults you think you've committed. All the times you think you have wasted. Forget them. Let them be in your past. Embrace your now. Embrace your present condition. Embrace that body you don't like that you're trying to work on. And begin to live happy. Begin to live working in your purpose. Begin to live fulfilling your potential. And you'll be surprised at what you can do. And that is my quick motivation for today. Don't forget, you cannot live life in regret, in art thinking you're not good enough. Other people are better than you and expect to do great things with your life. Be at peace with yourself. Love yourself and begin to live according to God's purpose for you. You will do well. You will do great things because I believe very much in you. As always, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope you are inspired. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share with your friends and family. It's all free. You can catch up with me on all my social media platforms. I'm on Facebook at Mojo in Touch. I'm on Instagram at Mojo in Touch. I'm also on Twitter at Mojo in Touch. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I love you so very much for watching. And I'll speak to you soon on my next video. God bless and goodbye.